Hi guys, this is Melissa from the House of Plaidfuss, and today we are going to talk about natural cleaners. If you don't already subscribe to my channel, please go ahead and hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss any of my new content. And if you do, welcome back. Um, a few days ago, I published a blog post about my recent trial and error testing out some different like natural cleaners. Um, and I just wanted to do a video to go a little bit more in depth about that. Um, let me preface this by saying that, you know, I like to use things that are environmentally friendly. Um, but I'm not like afraid of chemicals. Um, I like to use what's the most effective for the application with the least amount of damage, if that makes sense. I feel like sometimes things are overblown a little bit in the interest of selling product. And I very firmly believe that it's each family's decision, um, what they're comfortable with. So I'm not here to tell you that you should or shouldn't be using something. And I hope you're not here to tell me because I won't listen. <laughs> um, long story short, I explained it a little bit in the blog post. Um, and I actually have had a lot of people comment that, so uh, I'll just check things out like on the Think Dirty app or whatever. Um, and after doing some digging, I've discovered that um, a lot of these rating systems are very skewed. They actually rate companies that financially support them higher and a lot of their science is a little fuzzy. If you're interested to learn more about that, check out my blog post, but um, let me just suffice it to say that I think you need to use some common sense and don't necessarily listen to people who stand to make money off of you buying their product. So there's that. Um, the first product I'm gonna talk to you about is the Young Living Thieves Cleaner. I have used this um, for everything for the last three or four years, and I do really like it. I have a lot of pros for this product, but there were just some applications I wasn't crazy about it for, and you know, sometimes you just wanna try something different. So um, I will say my pros on this product, it is, it is very versatile. You can use this on glass, you can use it on natural stone countertops. I've used it on wood even. Um, it really can be used on almost any surface. I even like to, probably one of my favorite things to use this for is to put like a capful in some water to clean my fresh produce. Um, so I do like that it is so versatile that you can really just have one bottle under your sink. Some of my cons about this are, um, I feel like I have to mix it up a lot stronger than what it's recommended to really get a good scent or any sort of scent left, you know, after I clean, um, which it could be just that I've used it for so long. I'm a little bit like my senses are dulled. I don't know, but that's been my experience with it. I don't like that, you know, you have to be involved in an MLM to buy it. I'm trying to get away from that a little bit. Just, you know, again, that's just my personal choice. Um, and I just, you know, it's a good cleaner, but there's a lot of overblown claims around it by people who stand to profit from you purchasing it. Um, and that doesn't, you know, necessarily reflect on the product, but it was just things that kind of pushed me into trying other products. Let's put it that way. So if you've never tried Thieves, like I said, I do really like it. I probably will almost always have a bottle of that. Um, just because like I said, it is so versatile and I don't have to worry about like, uh, you know, harming my pets or, you know, if I'm using it like around plants or anything like that. Um, I do like the fairly non-toxic nature of it. So the first product I tried was the Method all-purpose naturally derived surface cleaner in the pink grapefruit scent. Now you can see, I gave this a good college try. I've been using this for a couple weeks. Three-fourths of it is gone. Um, so I really got a taste for whether I liked this or not. Um, and the final verdict is no, I do not. <laughs> um, first of all, I didn't love the scent. I thought pink grapefruit would be really like clean smelling and whatever. I, it's not terrible, but it just, it's not great either. Um, I don't know who formulates their, I don't know if it's fragrance, how they fragrance their products, but I'd say back to the drawing board with that one. And I mean, it cleans okay, but it leaves like a streaky buildup on most surfaces, like my countertops and I have a stainless steel water filter, super streaky. 
Um, oddly enough, it worked pretty well on my bathroom mirror without being streaky. It just made everything else hella streaky. So uh, this one will not be repurchased. The only reason I would repurchase this is to perhaps try a different scent. Um, I mean, it's not the worst cleaner in the world, but the other ones I tried did better. Let's put it that way. This one's at the bottom of the pile. Next product I tried was this Mrs. Meyers Clean Day Multi-Surface Everyday Cleaner. Um, I've used this dish soap and hand soap for years and years, and the geranium is my favorite scent. Um, this one did an amazing job as an actual cleaner. I couldn't believe, like I didn't realize that some things kind of had like a film or a buildup on them until I cleaned it with this. Um, I was super impressed with how well this cleaned. Um, I would say my only con for this is that the scent is really strong. Um, and quite frankly, I just don't always want my, you know, kitchen countertop smelling like geraniums. So maybe if I tried a fruitier scent in this, um, but I will definitely repurchase this. I was very impressed with the cleaning power of this. I like that it's pretty readily available. I ordered it off of Amazon um, and I will leave a link below, but there's like, I mean, I can get it in my grocery store. I can get it at Target. I just couldn't get the scent that I wanted. So it's very readily available. This one was a win for me. The last product I'm gonna show you is this Force of Nature Cleaner. Um, and I'm gonna show you a little clip here of how I made this bottle of cleaner. All right, so I have my base plugged in, and I'm gonna start by filling up the activator bottle to the line with softened water. If you don't have soft water, you're gonna to have to buy a jug of like distilled water or whatever, because the minerals in hard water will interfere with the chemical process. And then I add the capsule, which has like a predetermined amount of salt and vinegar in it. And then when you push the button, the lights come on, it fizzes, and it's electrolyzing the water. And basically it's taking the salt and vinegar and water and creating sodium hydroxide, which is like what cleans, um, and hypochlorous acid, which cleans and deodorizes. And it's supposedly as effective as bleach. And once the timer runs out, it is done. It is ready to be poured into the spray bottle, which is kind of nice. You're saving some plastic by reusing the bottles. And you'll see on the base that it says D14. That means the cleaner will be good for 14 days. Okay, so now that you've seen all of that, I will tell you my two winners are the Force of Nature and the Mrs. Myers. Um, honestly, the force of nature, this is what I have been predominantly using to clean. The company does not make any claims of disinfecting. And I don't know if that's because they just don't have the testing to back it up. Um, or what, but, um, let's just su suffice it to say that I feel like it gets things, uh, a deeper clean than maybe some of my other cleaners. I feel like it kind of goes a step beyond. Um, and I really like the disinfecting property. And the fact that I'm not putting, I'm not putting a scent or chemicals or even essential oils, I'm not layering those things over the top of anything. It's actually removing the, um, the dirt and or odors. So I do really like that. Um, I've tested this out as far as the deodorizer on my husband's stinky shoes. Um, and I had to actually go over them twice. The first time I was a skeptic, the second time I literally got online and ordered more capsules. Uh, and I've also tried it on an area of carpet that is kind of stinky uh, and it works like amazing. So if nothing else, I will always have this on hand like in place of like a Febreze or what have you. So there you have kind of my unofficial results from my little natural <laughs> cleaning test. Um, I think natural is a little bit in the eye of the beholder because I've heard some people say chemical free. Well, everything has chemicals in it. Water has chemicals in it. Um, so again, you kind of just need to go with your level of comfort. Um, if you just want to use vinegar and water and everything, that's how I clean like my vinyl floors. Um, that's fine too. But I personally like to use a cleaner and that's 
those are just my opinions after trying those. So thanks for watching guys. If you have a cleaner that you think I should try, I would love to hear about it in the comments below. I'm going to leave some links. I'm going to leave links to buy all of these products. Um, if you're interested in testing them out on the force of nature, um, I'm going to leave my referral link for that below. Make sure that you sign up for their mailing list before you actually purchase because they will send you like a $30 off coupon. So that makes it a lot more affordable to get started with that starter kit. So thanks for watching you guys. Have a great day.